I'll be introducing the new features of System Platform 2014. We'll start with Symbol Wizards, and when within Symbol Wizards, we'll start with a simple pump. Then we'll copy and paste components of that pump to develop the different permutations that you may drop down on a process screen. Then we'll add layers to control those permutations and ultimately drop those pumps down on a process screen. We'll be able to control how those pumps look with the drop downs created in our layers. So we have horizontal one, horizontal two, or vertical. On our actual runtime screen, we'll see that Wonderware has provided a lot of these symbol wizards out of the box. We've got the spark line, which is just a very short trend to highlight some component of your process. Here we're showing it on a reservoir with just a range um, background with the trend and not many other embellishments. Over here on the key performance indicators, we've got the trend. We've selected that we'll have a tag name. We'll show the value numerically and we'll show the units. The next key new feature is in scripting. We've implemented try, catch, and IntelliSense. With IntelliSense, whether we're talking about Wonderware objects and looking at the available UDTs or .NET namespace and its properties and methods, we can now find that with IntelliSense without going to help or having to memorize every available option. The next thing we'll cover are element styles. So in this runtime screen, we'll see that all the active components are dark gray. But we can go back to our galaxy, our IDE, configure, style library, element styles. We'll pick active, fills, pick some other color for demonstration, and we'll see that in one swoop, we've switched all our active animations from one color to another color. We can just as easily switch right back to the default. And that's the key new features of System Platform 2014.